In recent weeks, we've been hearing alarming news from the African continent. More than 350 elephants have been found dead in Botswana in the past two months. It's the single greatest catastrophe to have befallen the elephant populations in my lifetime. It seems that some of the animals suddenly fell to their sides or simply collapsed while walking. But why exactly the elephants are dying is still a mystery. Botswana's elephant population is the highest in the world. The country in southern Africa is home to more than 130,000 individuals, which amounts to one-third of the world's remaining population. But elephants there have been dying in unexplained circumstances since spring. Conservationists say they've recorded dead elephants of all ages and sexes. The animals looked confused, with some just walking in circles and others falling flat on their faces before they died. Nothing like this has ever been seen before. But let's take a closer look at what's happened so far. In March 2020, locals first noticed that elephants had started dying in northern Botswana. On May 25th, a group of conservationists were flying over the Okawango Delta when they noticed something disturbing. 169 dead elephants. Two days later, officials visited the area to take samples for testing. It could be infectious diseases, and uh, these infectious diseases can be further complicated by environmental factors. As Botswana doesn't currently have testing capacities itself, the government said they would send the samples to laboratories in Zimbabwe, South Africa and Canada. Conservationists took a second flight in June and revealed more carcasses, bringing the total number up to 356. On June 19th, a Facebook post on Botswana Safari News carried a statement from wildlife coordinator Dimakatso Nchebe saying that samples had been taken and were being sent abroad. So far, only one set of samples has arrived at the lab. According to the government, the coronavirus crisis has delayed some of the samples leaving the country. On July 10th, Botswana said it had received test results from samples sent to Zimbabwe, but is waiting for more results from South Africa before sharing the findings with the public. Although Botswana's government vets are highly qualified, critics want to know why everything is taking so long. Testing of this kind needs a documented chain of custody which ensures the sample's origin at every stage. And depending on what the scientists are looking for, the samples might already be too old by the time they arrive at the lab. As test results are still outstanding, the biggest question hasn't been answered yet. Why are all these elephants dying? Conservationist Dr. Niall McCann explained what could be behind the deaths. There are three obvious theories. The first one, and I think the least likely, is that this is a naturally occurring toxin. Things like anthrax or cyanobacteria, blue-green algae, exist naturally in, in the wild, and every now and then they have an outbreak and it kills a bunch of animals. Anthrax killed at least 100 elephants in Botswana last year. The bacterium that causes the anthrax disease, called Bacillus anthracis, occurs naturally in soils where it can stay inactive as spores for decades. Grazing animals can ingest anthrax-tainted soils along with plants or while drinking. Normally that will kill lots of things, not just elephants. Fact, this is only elephants, indicates to me that it's probably not a natural toxin, but it could be. It could be the second theory is that this is a pathogen a disease of some kind. And I think that's, that's quite likely, because diseases can be very species-specific. It could be something that is totally benign in one species, but then highly virulent in another, as we've just witnessed with COVID-19, which is totally fine in bats, but not great in people, as, as, as we're all living through. And then the third theory is that this is a poison of some form, either put down by poachers to try and kill the elephants for ivory, or by farmers. Elephants are seen as a threat by some farmers because they eat their crops. They put poison in water holes or fruits where the elephants will consume it. At the moment, scavenging animals don't appear to be dying near the carcasses, which is a sign that if poison is to blame, it's probably a new one. Depending what you're looking for, 
you can have a very different length of time available to you. Something like cyanide degrades really rapidly, but if it's, if it's stored well, then you can still tell that it's in there a few days later. The government knew that this was happening back in May, and the samples only arrived at the first laboratory last week. So there was a six-week lag from the samples first being taken to, the, to them arriving at a lab for testing. During that time, a lot of elephants died, but maybe unnecessarily died. Some people have also speculated that chemical pesticides could have caused the elephants' deaths. In spring, a large part of Africa, including Botswana, was hit by swarms of millions of desert locusts. To limit the damage caused by the insects, chemical pesticides were sprayed widely. But experts say that negative effects from pesticides would also have harmed other animals. But at the moment, all these theories are only speculation. In reality, nobody knows yet why the elephants in Botswana are dying. Due to the fact that the carcasses still had their tusks, Botswana's government has already ruled out poaching. But conservationists are warning against ruling anything out. To solve the mystery, it's essential that a team of independent experts should also be allowed to visit and sample the carcasses. Steps like this need to be taken before any more elephants can die or the cause spills over into the local human population. Whatever the outcome will be, if there is one at all, one thing is for certain. We are seeing carnage among the elephant population of Botswana right now, and it's causing long-term trauma to the ones who have somehow survived this tragedy. from Taramata. I hope that our video could shed some light on the current situation in Botswana. We definitely want to do a follow-up, so subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.